नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं अभिजीत और आप देख रहे हैं एपी स्टडी सर्कल वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर अभी तक आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को भी जरूर दबा दें क्योंकि जब भी नया कोई वीडियो आएगा आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाएगा लेट्स ड्राइव इन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट विल हैपन टू द अवेलेबल एनर्जी इफ द हीट इज ट्रांसफर टू द इंजिन इन रिवर्सिबली दैट मीन्स वी विल ट्राई टू कंपेयर the irreversible case and the reversible case and try to find out the decrease in available energy when the heat is transferred through a finite temperature taken okay so in the previous uh, video we have seen that when a reversible heat engine that is operating between t1 and t0 t1 is the source temperature and t0 that is the surrounding temperature that is the lowest possible temperature at which the heat can be rejected we will get the maximum work output and that is your available energy or exergy okay so let's try to first uh, have that engine or cycle on a ts plot before going further into the subject of today so we have the okay this is your ts diagram okay this is your cycle okay uh the upper that is the source temperature is t1 and the lower temperature is t0 that is the surrounding temperature at t1 the engine is getting a q1 amount of heat and at t0 that is surrounding temperature it is rejecting q2 amount of heat and while producing a work w which will be w max and that is your ae okay and due to this we have this entropy change that is delta s okay so uh q1 is nothing but t1 into del s and q2 is nothing but t0 del s therefore according to the first law of thermodynamics w max or ae is nothing but it is q1 minus q2 okay so it will be nothing but uh, t1 del s minus t2 del s or it can be written as del s can be delta s can be taken out and it will be delta s multiplied by t1 minus t0 okay this one is t0 right so let's have this okay it is t0 so we have this and this is the maximum available energy which will be obtained for this reversible cycle now let's suppose uh, we are giving the heat q1 through a finite temperature taken that means we are taking the heat q1 from a reservoir that is maintained at temperature t1 and we are supplying that heat to engine at a temperature t1 dash a different temperature which is lower than this uh, reservoir or source temperature now how much work is can be obtained from this heat which is transferred through this temperature uh, finite temperature difference can be work out if we consider the engine as a reversible engine and operating between that lower temperature t1 dash and t0 that is the surrounding temperature let's try to find out that for that let's draw the diagram on the ts plot so we have this again we have this s and this is your t okay so 
this is that your temperature at t1 dash here we are giving uh, q1 amount of heat and it is been transferred to the engine at t1 dash okay the same amount q1 amount of heat is been transferred so for comparing how much reduction or decrease in available energy will we will be getting let's try to form both the cycles means when the system is directly interacting between t1 and t0 and when the system is interacting between t1 dash and t0 okay so it will be q2 dash and this will be the new change in entropy that is delta s because of this engine which is operating between t1 dash and t0 and when the system was operating between t1 and t0 the heat rejection was q2 and it was the delta s is was this one okay so now here let's try to find what is q1 q1 can be written as delta s oh sorry this one is delta s dash delta s into t1 and it is also delta s dash into t1 dash right both will give this q1 and we know that t1 dash is lower than t1 therefore delta s dash is greater than delta s because q1 is same so if this is more this will be less right okay now for this case for when the heat is rejecting at q2 and q2 dash at the temperature t0 so q2 is nothing but t0 del s and q2 dash is what t0 del s dash this one q2 is rejecting between this whole area okay this is we will be getting for q2 dash and this we will be getting for q2 now again as t0 is same and uh, del s dash is greater than del s as we have just got this thing from here we can write it as uh, q2 dash is greater than q2 right okay so uh, let's uh, okay okay hmm so now let's find out what will be the work which will be getting right so we have w let's for the engine w dash it will be q1 minus q2 dash that means q1 is how much t1 dash into del s dash minus t0 del s dash just we are putting this and this right okay 
So, from here we can have T1 dash minus T0 into del S dash and this del S dash I uh, del S dash is uh, more than del S yes ok no problem and it is less than T1 right. So, now when the engine of operating between T1 and T0 uh, w can be obtained as q1 minus q2 and it is nothing but t1 del s minus t0 del s we are just comparing how uh, less available energy we will be getting when the heat is transferred through the source and uh, to a engine which is at a temperature t1 dash which is less than the source temperature ok. So, here we will getting T 1 minus T 0 del S previously we have seen this one for the reversible case ok no problem and now you see this Q 1 is same for both and Q 2 Q 2 dash is greater than Q 2 that means this one will be less because this factor will be more so, this is less ok. So, w 1 dash ok w not w 1 it is w dash ok great w dash is a less than w ok because your q 2 dash is greater than q 2 ok no problem because we have this. So, this we will we have got that w dash will be less than w and let us try to find how how much decrease we are getting of the available energy that is w minus w dash. So, it is q 2 dash we are just summing this up q 2 dash minus q 2 ok what is q 2 dash it is t 0 del s dash minus t 0 del s or it can be written as t 0 common it is del s dash minus del s ok. So, this is what your decrease in available energy and this is the decrease in available energy or exergy and it is the product of the lowest feasible temperature T 0 of the heat rejection and the additional entropy change in the system due to that the heat which is irreversibly transferred as compared to the case of reversible heat transfer from the same source right ok. So, this is the decrease in available energy greater is the temperature difference between now from this you can see that greater is the temperature difference between T 1 and T 1 dash greater is the heat rejection q 2 dash and greater will be the unavailable part of the energy supplied right. That means, uh, let us have this final conclusion that energy is said to be said to be degraded degraded each time each time it flows through a finite temperature 
difference. For now, we are saying goodbye, but in the next videos, again we will be meeting up. Thank you.